Oh, me again. Oh, this is probably going to be the only non-Lego and Creo thing I put on this channel. But, uh, I thought it'd be a normal, interesting thing to open. Uh, it's a Star Wars, uh, game thing. I'm not sure which poppers I got. So, it says there's four poppers, four game boards, but it includes... Where's the inclusion list? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, a uh, package includes one lollipop, uh, two spaceship poppers, and one a game board. So, uh, I need scissors, which I want to get up and get some skizzers. Um, skizzers, let's, uh, alrighty. So, alright. I don't want to cut the game board, so I'm just going to one simple cut and then tear and open from the back. There we go. This is a very, very good packaging. Alright, so I want to cut the... So I'm guessing this is the game board, which we will review after we get out the poppers. Ooh. Ooh, we have two TIE Fighters. So we have a TIE Fighter and another TIE fighter uh all right um so they're they're identical i thought i'd get two different ones all right so i'm just gonna review uh one well i mean look at that it's an amazing star designing around it so let's see what they're the instructions one separate popper from background all right well it's gonna be easy if i can just The life of doing this one-handed is very difficult. I'm surprised they even got those Creo packages open the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen my uh, Creo, I'm just going to pause this video. Alright, so since they're identical, I'm only going to review one. Um, on the back, it's just plain white, which I really think they sh they, they could have done a bit of design, but... Uh, Disney is known for doing a bit cheaper products just so they can get them out. Um, amazing shape. I'm not really sure why they did it like that. Um, so I'm going to get the other popper out one-handed while I'm talking about this uh, other popper. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, multitasking. Uh, so I don't get why it has CLFL on it. I think they should have put that... On the back, just my opinion, does kind of ruin the uh, TIE Fighter design, if you will. Um, the actual TIE Fighter itself really looks amazing. Um, this is high quality uh, designing. <laughs> I'm not going to say printing because it's not really printing. It's uh, just more design than anything. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Alright, it does come with a lollipop, so we will be reviewing the lollipop packaging, but we're not going, I don't like lollipops, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna taste it. <laughs> Alright, so I got the other popper out. Alright, so in case I mess up on folding this one, I'm gonna fold this one. Alright, so we're gonna look at the lollipop pack, look at that impressive designing. I really do like that, and that's amazing, I think I actually might just keep the packaging and just put it on a wall or something. Alright, so now I'm going to, like, unfold the board while talking about this packaging. Um, this packaging is very impressive. I actually do like it a lot. Oh, my word, this board is weird. Alright, alright, so this is probably a very simplistic game. Alright, um, so as you can see, there's it's a point system, which I do like point system games. I like them a lot. So we have 25 um, here, and it's kind of like a ring that goes all the way around. Uh, laser. Wait, does that mean this is also 25? Wow. All right, so, and 50, which is a ring around. And 75 is very small. Uh, but it... Wait, is there a bat? No, there isn't. All right. All right. Um, okay. So I guess our goal is to get the popper to hit the 100, 
with the only problem being this thing's huge. I can have it take up, yeah, if you place it right, it's in every single category. Um, so, why? Uh, uh, Alright, so I'm just going to read the instructions. Here, so, alright. So, we got the popper out of the background. Fold popper on the perforated line. Well, there ain't no perforated lines on this popper, <laughs> um, as you can see. Not even on the back, I checked. Um, do, I, do I fold it up or down? It don't tell me. Maybe, like, um, and then you push your finger down the popper, launch it in the air, and then... Okay, um, so I'm going to pause the video and fold this popper. And if I mess up, I do have an extra over there. Well, good news, it works. Uh, so in case you were wondering, uh, bad news, I flicked it off the table. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. This is why they give you two. Actually, I think they give you two so you can play with someone else. But I'm going to pause it. So this is what the popper is supposed to look like. In case you're wondering, you put your finger in here and you flick it, and then it just flings. Um, so I guess you're supposed to have like the board over there, and then just like, wow. Uh, okay, I'm bad at this game already. All right, hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, yay! I got seventy-five points. It's in both of them. Yeah, yeah. I think that it's supposed to be whatever one it is in more. So that would be a 25. That would be a 25. Like, whatever one it's in more. Like, that would be a zero. Maybe count it as 25. Like, that would be 100, 75. Be 100 or 75. Uh, I think the most you'd be able to get would be 100. But, um, I could be wrong. Um... And they do give you uh, another popper. Um, I think it's so you can play with two people. Okay. It's called Help the Rebel Squadron Destroy the Death Star. Now, you would think maybe they'd give you X-Wing pieces. But they give you TIE Fighter pieces. If we're helping the Rebels destroy the Death Star, wouldn't we be X-Wing? That's my, my only question here. So wouldn't we be excellent? Uh, you also have the other popper, um, which I will fold. Um, not in this video. Um, I, I do like this game. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, it's Star Wars uh, Company's Gallery, G A L E R I E, Disney. Um, weighs 21 ounces, 7 grams. Um, on the back. I'm just looking for a... Sharp edges. What's sharp edge? Okay. Hard candy may contain... Wait, six and up. Like, a three-year-old could... Hey, this is a very fun game. Uh, very complicated. Uh, not complicated. It's hard. Like, you'd have to flick it just... Like, too hard, and it's like, all... It's like, off the table. Um... Uh. I'm going to get that now. Um, but, uh, it's very simple. Just don't fuck it too hard. Like, yeah. Okay, I am very terrible at this game. Hey, hey. It's kind of like that frog hopper game. Okay, you know what? Boom. Boom. I win 100 points. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat. All right, so we're going to... Oh my gosh, I just got a hundred points. Wow. Wow, can we get two for two? Can we get two for two? I got another hundred, man. I'm so good. Again, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm faking. I did not get two hundred. Okay. Another just weird little thing I have with this game. We're TIE Fighters, right? Why are TIE Fighters help the Rebel Squadron destroy the Death Star? Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, this is going to be the only non-LEGO thing I do on this channel. I just 
got it, and I thought it'd be just an interesting thing. I didn't want to put it on my other channel because my other channel's dumb. Um, but I do wish they put that at Cough Beer CFL on the back, though. Just think it would have been more interesting. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, check out my other content, uh, which is Lego, mostly. I do have a Creo. Um, that's going to be it for this video.